just have to try again. I should probably throw some greens at it. That reminds me, um... Put on weight. Although this chocobo is not going to stay with us forever. It's going to escape as soon as we jump off of it. There we go. Alright, hopefully we don't have too many enemies. Okay. So what we want to do is grab an item. And throw it at the chocobo. We're going to use our limit break against this. Ethan will attack the other one. We don't want to leave it up to chance, because if she attacks the uh, chocobo, then it's all over. Don't run away, chocobo. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Ah, come on. Look at that. We were so close. Well, at least we're making bank. <laughs> Getting paid a little bit. Couldn't get it. I imagine lightning won't do too well against the guys in the back. Oh, well, it did. Alpha Dunk. Oh no, I didn't mean to kick the chocobo. What the fuck? I thought I selected the other elephant. So the elephant is kind of annoying because its ability gives you sadness. You can see Ares was hit by it, and I think Cloud was just hit by it too. Yeah, the limit break is like a bluer color. And because of that, uh, they get their limit break much slower than normal. That was annoying.
We can get one. Just have to get a little lucky. Okay, so we're gonna throw a green at it with uh, Ares. Quake on the one in the back. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't run. Oh, that we even got a crit and everything. Hold on. Magic. Quake. So the thing in the back. Please don't run. Alright, I think we got it. Oh. I thought for like a split second that it was gonna survive that. We got our chocobo. Press the cancel button to get off. Chocobos will escape when a player dismounts, so let's not do that. Alright, so yeah, we can run away from the thing over here. There we go. Did Sephiroth do this? Amazing. Our enemy is someone that could do this? Yeah, so he's already killed one of these things. Or at least somebody has. Well, we can continue on. And he's gone. Alright, so... This is one of the first, like, sort of dungeons that we have here. Mind source. I forget what that does. Raises spirit. Also, we can use these hypers to cure sadness. So we're going to be searching around trying to find everything that we can. Of course, we went the right way by mistake. Just a second. It's the Turks. By any chance, are you... Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're the Turks. Well, if you know, then this won't take long. It's difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? To put it, to put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. You gonna say something? Sir. It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. Then explain, Alina. I'm the newest member of the Turks, Alina. Thanks to what you did to Reno, we're short-handed. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Anyhow, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed. And to try and stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute. It's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Alina, you talk too much. Mr. Singh? No need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, Singh. I thought I gave your orders. Now go. Don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well. Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's heading for Junon Harbor. <laughs> Alina, you don't seem to understand. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. Reno said he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show you his affection for you all with a new weapon. Well then. Ares. Long time no see. Looks like you're safe from the Shinra for a while, now that Sephiroth reappeared. What are you saying? That I should be grateful to Sephiroth? No. I won't be seeing much of you, so take care. Strange hearing that from you. Well then, stay out of Shinra's way. 
All right, so I think that's the way we're actually supposed to go. doing extra fights here and there. Because I like exploring the areas. Good enough reason to use Cure, I think. Didn't actually think that would work, but whatever. It did. essentially allows you to be moved to the back row and still do normal damage as well as be able to do damage like over a over an area you know so actually yeah we can get rid of chocobo lure we can put long range in there i like that and yeah, that's all that was up here so actually because we've done that now let's uh, go to order and move cloud into the back row and that's how I think it works anyway. I guess we'll find out.
let's try this way. An elixir. Very good. A high potion. Good at missing her lemon brain. Alright, let's keep an eye on Cloud's damage here. Because being on the back row is going to help him take less damage as well. So it's all good. Like, being on the back row is a great thing. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Alright. Yeah, so there's Fort Condor. Now, I know there's something we can do here. I don't know if we do it now or if we do it later, though. This guy looks pretty badass. Electromag. fighting the Shinra on this battlefield for a long time. We've still settled in for the long war with them. Could you spare some time and help us fight them? We don't want to sound pushy, so if you're busy with something, why don't you finish that first? Where's Junon? Let's see, head north along the coast. Keep going a ways and you'll run into Junon. But be alert, it sits in the shadows on a small hill. Alright. We can try to do this. I remember having issues with this back in the day. Really? Then go on up. They'll fill you in on the details. It's a bit of a different type of game. It's kind of fun. But I remember failing at it like multiple times, so I don't know. Hmm, now this is something I never, uh, this is something I never thought anyone would ever climb up here. Your eyes are different. Well, anyhow, any minute now, this will be a battlefield against the Shinra. You better get get down before you get involved. You mean Shinra? What do you mean, a battlefield? It appears you have a problem with Shinra, too. After all, you did climb up here. Why not listen to what I have to say for a moment? Sure. Do you know what's at the top of this mountain? A huge bird. The reactor and the condor. That's right. On that mountain is a condor and a reactor. It seems the Shinra doesn't like the idea of having a condor on top of the reactor. What's so wrong with having a condor on top of the reactor? Why? It seems there's some type of special materia in the reactor above us. And because the condor came, the Shinra rushed troops here. The military wants to get the condor and all the villagers off of this mountain. The condor is now warming its egg, which hatches only once every few years. We would like to protect the condor from it being harmed. New lives. Condor's egg, a real work of nature. We've got to protect the life of the planet. We must protect the condor egg, right? Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to fight Shinra ourselves. That's why we've hired soldiers to help us. As our sponsor, you can help us with a contribution or by fighting alongside of us. What do you think? Want to join us in our fight? Cloud, Cloud, why are you still worrying about it? All right. Yes, let's do our best. Okay, well, first, we'll come down here. So I think it'll let us sleep here for free. Yeah, let's get some rest.
You hang in there. Don't need to buy any of those. And we don't have to buy any of those. Thanks for accepting. So, shall I let you in on our strategy? The enemy has targeted our mountain reactor and will be climbing to reach it. We must set a trap and hire soldiers to protect the place. Well, this is all we have. This village doesn't have any money. Even if we wanted to fight, we can't because we're broke. We need 400 gil to hire one soldier. If we hire 20, we'll need 8,000. We need to ask you to use your own money to hire these soldiers. Buy the equipment, set it up, and give the commands. If you don't have time, could you help us with a donation? If you donate money, we can hire the soldiers and block Shinra's attacks. We know what we're asking is selfish. We sent our wives and children to another village, but we're resigned to stay. Let's get back to basics. If the enemy reaches this shed, you'll have to fight them off immediately. It's not the end of the world, but if you lose repeatedly, it could be dangerous. Now then, is there anything you wish to ask? Well... You can win by wiping out the enemy or killing the enemy commander. If the enemy reaches the shed, they'll attack, and you have no choice but to battle immediately. If you lose during the direct contact, and even if the enemy gets at a reactor, there's still a chance to win. But it's only a slight chance, and we have no idea how much a reactor can endure in an attack. When we can't defend against the attack any longer, the Shinra will take our lives, the Condor, and all the materia in the, in the reactor. The enemy. There are four types of enemies. Wyverns. Wyverns are flying types that can move at high speed. Stoner and Tristoner aren't effective against them. Beasts are monster types that do not move quickly but have explosive attacking power. Barbarians are human types. They attack from a distance, so you've got to be on your toes. And Commanders. Commanders are the enemy commanders. They're the ones we want to subdue, but they're formidable foes. Types of soldiers. Your mobile allies are fighters, attackers, defenders, shooters, repairers, and workers. Your immobile allies are stoner, tristoner, catapult, and fire catapult. What you want to hear about? Mobile types. Fighters. Fighters are good at defending and attacking, but aren't especially effective or deficient for any enemy. Attackers. Attackers move extremely fast and are best for expanding the front line. They work good against enemy beasts, but not against enemy barbarians. I'm not going to remember all this stuff. Defenders have high endurance, but move slowly. They're best suited for defense. They work best against enemy barbarians, but not enemy wyverns. Shooters attack from a distance, but have low endurance. Shooters work best against enemy wyverns, but not enemy beasts. Repairers. Repairers repair allied units, but have little attacking power. Workers set mines. Mines have strong attacking power, but workers don't. Mines explode when touched by the enemy. The explosions will damage everything in the immediate area. Alright, we'll do immobile types. Stoners can file a, fire a single boulder, causing extensive damage to every enemy it hits. Tristoners can fire three boulders simultaneously, causing extensive damage to every enemy they hit. We can't use the Tristoner or Fire Catapult because they're still not ready. Catapults shoot rocks at a great distance, causing extensive damage to anything they hit. Fire Catapults fire bombs at a great distance. Alright, well we got all the types of soldiers. Funding. We have 15,000 gil right now. We need 3,000 for each battle. How much can you help? Let's give him a, th I don't know, give him a thousand. Nothing right now. First off, we must prepare the troops. Move the cursor wherever the X mark does not appear, then press OK to set up. After all positions are in place, press cancel. This starts the battle. Soldiers can only be arranged near the shed in the beginning. 
That's because if the soldiers are too far away, they won't be able to follow instructions. You can only put soldiers above the horizontal line at the very bottom. Soldiers can be instructed by pushing assist, so if any commands are unclear, push it. Soldiers can report by pushing OK. The cursor will move to the soldier who made the report. Press cancel and you hear the report. If you can bet, you can bet Shinra will send platoons at you on a regular basis. It would be great if you could spare the time to help us. Okay. Looks like they're getting ready to attack now. Please, any help is appreciated. Alright, let's go. Did you at least make it 4,000 kill? What? I don't have that much. are worth good money because you can't buy them so I just sold off a bunch hopefully I won't need them for anything but I guess I'm committed so how much money do I have now okay I have 4,000 at least 4,000. I don't understand what you want. There. I just made... I gave you 4,000 total. Okay, I don't understand. I literally just gave away, like... Before I just like sell all my ethers, let me just check this. Four, okay, F, F7, Fort Condor. Can make do that at least 4,000. You need to have 4,000 gil on you? That is so stupid. Oh my god. So I just gave them all this money. Literally for no reason. Whoops. Not enough. Wait. wording is terrible there. Like, how am I supposed to know that? Of course. Alright, well, what can we sell? Thank you. 
Probably wanted to keep that, but hey, it looks like I need money, so. Thank you. 